Hello and welcome to this revised series on Python 4DH in which we have a more zoomed in text and an interaction with pythonhumanities.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about really kind of the first step towards practical Python for DH. And by that, I mean, we're going to start working with data that you would actually encounter in the real, real world. And we're going to be working with methods for importing that data into Python for analysis. And we're going to do that today with one major text, Alice in Wonderland. And you see right here, I have alice.txt, uh, and it'll make more sense why I put it like that and right there in just a little bit. So this is going to be our main coding file right here. And again, you have your display text of what we are going to kind of cover in this video. I'm going to show you how to open a text file, how to import data from that text file. I'm going to show you good practices for formatting your code while doing this. And then I'm also going to show you how to store that data in a new text file, some kind of output, if you will. And over the process, you're going to learn basic concepts like the open operator and what R, W, A, and plus mean when interacting with a text file. If you don't know what any of this means, don't worry. By the end of the video, you will. So let's dive right in. We're going to be working with uh, two or one key piece of information initially, and that's going to be a file name. So I always like to store the file name that I'm going to be working with, the text file name, as an object. And I like to store it as a string. So I'm going to look and see where it's at in my subfolder. So we hear here the main folder. And we're under 12 underscore text files slash, and I have to say which file it actually is, alice.txt. Great. So I've got that. The reason why I like to do that at the top of the script is because it makes it a lot easier for me to uh, change one object than to change a whole bunch of statements about that object. And when you're working with Python and you're doing more complex things, you're typically going to open up a file multiple times. So declaring the file name as an object is just going to make your life a lot easier. So let's kind of just go in and start doing this. We're going to say with open and what this is called is an open operator and this declares that we're going to open up a file now there was an older way of doing this where you would manually open up a file and then go through and extract the data and then manually close the file the reason why i'm not showing you that method that you might see in other tutorials is because you have to always remember to manually close the file if you don't it's going to stay open in memory indefinitely which means that you're going to have problems, a sluggish computer, etc., just from one simple mistake. And you're not going to get an error. With the with open operator, you're never going to have to worry about that again uh, because it's automatically going to close the file once you stop using the with operator. So we're going to say with open, and then the first argument is going to be the file name. As you can tell, I've got the file name pointing to the string. If I wanted to just write all the string right here, it would work the exact same way, but I'm using file name, the object. And what that's telling Python is with open, go to this specific directory, 12 underscore text files, and go to this specific file. That's what we want you to open, but we have to tell it how to open it. Now we have a couple different, different options. We can read the text file. We can write the text file and we can append to the text file. And if the file doesn't exist, we can append or write and add a plus to it. And that'll tell Python that it, um, that it needs to create that file when it, when it goes to actually import the data. So this next argument is going to be a string and we're just going to simply read for right now. So we're going to open it up with quotation marks like an R we're reading it. And we're going to say, and this is always good practice as F and that just stands for file. Now what we do is we have a colon and we're going to be indenting and in this indent, we're going to be interacting with that data. So I'm going to say something like data is equal to, and this is where you need to remember this. Uh, you have two different options right now. You can do F dot read and let's print that off so you can kind of see what that looks like. And you'll notice that it prints off this entire text file. I'm going to scroll all the way to the top so you can kind of see. And then I'm going to open the text file here. And you can tell Python has just simply read and old that data. Fantastic. The other option that we have 
as we can do f dot read. Let's do a new one down here. Data equals f dot read lines. We're going to comment this out. And what this is going to do is it's going to read all the lines as individual objects. And so we can print data and you're going to see a long list separated out by line breaks. So that's how you get your data from a text file into two different forms, either as a continuous string or as a series of line breaks in a list. I'm going to add these concepts over here. So you can constantly go back f dot read and I'm going to do eight because I can't count. Fantastic. F dot read lines. That's a good little cheat sheet for you. Okay. So what's the big deal about that? Well, once I can import my data into Python and you always will be importing data into Python, now you can actually start manipulating it in Python. So let's say I wanted to just stick with this. I wanted to read in the whole shebang, the whole thing up there. What can I do? What use is this? Well, let's say, for example, that I needed to make a whole bunch. I needed to separate all the chapters out from Alice in Wonderland. You already have the tools to solve this real world problem. You just have to think about what we talked about in video three on strings. So how would you solve it? Pause the video and try to figure out how you might solve the problem by looking at where is that this text file and thinking how you might solve this problem of separating this text by chapters. Let's scroll down to the next chapter and there you can see this is how chapters are always formatted. Okay, so here's how you're going to do it. So you are going to realize that every single time a new chapter is declared, this is again a human spotting patterns now, you notice that the word chapter is always used in capital letters. So what we're going to do is data.split. We're going to split it right at chapters. And now when I print off chapters, you'll see I have a list all drawn up. So now what I can do, get rid of that. So that's not confusing. Run it one more time just so you can see it. Now I know that starting at the second index of my list, I've got chapter one. So if I were to try to call, sorry, that first index, that first index, we can see it printed off as a continuous string. And this is the fun part. This is how you know that it's going to work. You print off two, and you'll see chapter two is right here. So once you import data, you can start manipulating it in Python very easily because you've converted something that is in an external data form into something that Python can understand and work with. In this case, a string. So what if now, now that I've separated all these chapters out, I want to kind of go through, and actually there's one thing I really have to do first. I don't have to do it, but we can notice that when I print off zero, it's printing nothing. So we're gonna to try to skip that when we get up to this next step in a second. Let's say for whatever reason, I wanted to uh, import that first data into a separate text file. How might I do that? Well, I can use the write with operator. So I can say with open, and we're gonna say, we're just gonna copy this. We're gonna say file name two. We're going to say chapter one. I'm going to change this in a second and you'll see why. So we're going to say file name two and we're going to say write as F. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, F dot write. And this is going to allow us to write to that file. We're going to write chapter and we're going to specifically do chapter one, which again, if you remember, the first index zero did not actually have anything. The first chapter is actually an in index one. So when we do this, you're going to see a new, oh, chapters, that was my fault. There you go. And you'll see chapter one is now in this new text file, chapter one.txt, all by itself. So that's how you can use Python to open up external data 
manipulate it within Python and send out some kind of desired output. So we can do some pretty nifty stuff. What if I wanted to separate all chapters out in Python? Well, I can make this into a formatted string and change this to simply I. And then what I'll do is I'll copy this down here. And I'm going to make I equal to uh, zero. Yeah, I'll start at one. And we're going to say for I and chapters, we're going to say one to the end. And we're going to say that we want to do this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to increase i, and I'm going to explain what's happening right now. Equals i plus, I can't type apparently, there we go, i plus 1. And we're going to change this to i. Okay, so what we're saying is that we're going to go through and we're going to say for i in chapters, for integer in chapter, so for chapter and chapter, whatever you want to do. Actually, we're going to say for chapter and chapter. For chapter and chapters, so it's going to go through across each uh, chapter, uh, we are going to <clears throat> simply drop in the data for chapter into this text file. And we've used a formatted string so that we can make each text file change numbers. So it's going to go 1 for chapter 1, 2 for chapter 2, etc., all the way down the list. We can make it a little fancier and do something like this. When we run it, you should see, oh, that's why, there we go. So when we run this, you should see it go through and instantly, that was real time, you saw all those text files made. So we can go through and see that we've got chapter four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down the list. Now we have our data manipulated, manipulated and altered in Python and exported in a desired output. We now have all of Alice in Wonderland stored as individual chapters and individual text files. But one of the things you're going to notice uh, is that while this might look clean here, let me delete that, uh, you're going to have a problem when you try to import all this data as individual text files because one is going to appear with one zero because it's going through all these text files differently because there's not a hanging zero or a leading zero in your text file name. And so your single digits don't have um, a zero here essentially. So how can we fix that? Well, we can say, uh, use a conditional statement. If I is less than 10, then we're going to say that uh, chapter num is equal to We're going to say zero. I'm going to do a formatted string. Let's get that. And we're going to say zero i. We're going to replace this with chapter num. And we're going to say else chapter num is equal to. say i. So what this is going to do is it's going to add a zero in for us. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete all of these text files. Wonderful, go away, fantastic. And now when we go through, you'll see over here uh, that we have 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, all the way down until 9, and then we have 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 2. So that's a fun little trick, very simple conditional for how you can add a hanging zero or a leading zero to your file names. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, I want you to spend time with this. Play with it, get used to writing with open very quickly. Get used to reading this common data structure, a common way of formatting your code. You are going to be opening external data for the rest of the course. So get very comfortable with the with open operator. And the reason why you need to get comfortable with it is because you are going to be never you're never going to use data in a Python script. You're always going to be importing external data.
And if you go over to pythonhumanities.com, you'll find a really useful exercise to kind of work with. And it's going to be underneath part four, working with data, lesson 12. And again, you'll be able to watch the video. But importantly, this one's a little different. I have the ability for you to uh, open and import and work with an external text file so that you can actually kind of engage with Python in a little bit more in-depth level by calling a, a text file. So go ahead, have fun with that, and get comfortable with that with open operator. And then join me in the next video when we start talking about uh, really kind of the introduction to key modules in Python. So these are things that you import so that you don't have to write a whole bunch of unnecessary code. That's going to be it for this video, though. Thank you for listening, and please like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.